Hey, how's it going? <laughs> it's been a while since I've made a wonderful video from my car. I had some really ex interesting experiences in the last 24 hours, and especially today, that has given me so much clarity about our situation, so I wanted to share. I've been pondering and posting on Facebook and talking to my people about, you know, what is it that keeps people asleep? Is it the drugs? Is it um, pornography? You know, people were like, it's television. And we just, you know, started having the conversation and then it dawned on me clearly after today that the real number one reason why people stay asleep is to collect their paychecks. <laughs> the government, the media, most of the military, all the police, everybody in the education system, everybody in the medical system, everybody is basically being bribed to just, you have to believe this, you have to do this or you will not survive. And so it's like only the independent people, you know, that are able to, to think for themselves and to have opinions. Everybody else is just like, oh, I can't lose my job. So they go home and they take their drugs and they watch their TV and they do whatever they do to, to just desensitize themselves because they, they don't get to be themselves. That's huge, I think. And then what happened today in, in Maui is I went to our rally and it was good, you know, I, I actually had, I kind of knew one of the officers, there were officers there. I think there was only two cars and I only saw like two officers. And I recognized one of the girls and I, girl and I had said, oh, hi, I know you. And she's like, oh yeah, I recognize you. Because, so I arrived, you know, and everybody was standing along the road with signs. And so I went to go stand in front. And I see this homeless lady. She has like a, a mask, but it's not, I think, I think they call them gaiters. So it's like this big cloth thing. She had it over her whole entire head, like her whole head. <laughs> and then she was walking up and down, screaming, waving her arms, yelling at people, get out of your cars, come on. Like just making a scene. And I'm like, uh, how long has that lady been there? And they're like, yeah, you know. And I was like, why don't the officers like maybe do something with her instead of us and they're like yeah so I went over and that's when I noticed that I knew the girl and I was like oh I know you and so I was like hey you know is there anything you guys can do about this lady she's like running in the streets screaming at people telling people to get out of their cars and she's like yeah you know what we can't um we'll, while, while we're here we we'll keep our eye on her but we can't really do anything because of COVID you know and it's like with all the mentally unstable people there's really not a lot we can do and I'm like okay <laughs> you know but then also they're there to ticket us for picketing not picketing but um you know protesting and our event only took like an hour and a half so we weren't there long and that's you know anyways shorten the story i had talked to her one more time because they came around letting everybody know you need to be you know social distancing you know you can't blah 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 telling everybody the rules and everyone's like okay thanks <clears throat> And they're like, you know, we don't really want to arrest anybody. We're, you know, we were told to come down here and cite people if needed, but we don't really want to do that. And we're like, okay, great, you're great. But then when I was getting ready to leave, I had went and put my sign back. And then I um, grabbed my camera and I wanted to take a picture and kind of like, you know, maybe live video Facebook for a second. So I had these little girls watch my dog and I asked, you know, hey, I'm Mom, you know mom can you watch behind me so I step out in the street for like no it's on video literally 13 seconds and I wasn't very far it was like the curb <laughs> I stepped off the curb and videoed and you can see in the video that there's absolutely no cars around me at all and then you can hear in the video the lady go a car is coming okay and I was like all right so 13 seconds these officers booked it across the whole lawn. Like I was on one end and they were on the whole other end. And they 
booked it. Oh, can I, can I talk to you? And I was like, yeah. And he's like, starts to lay into me like some abusive stepfather. Like he's going to be like, you're, do you understand me? You do not go in that street. And I was like, uh, okay, I'm leaving. Thank you. And he's like, do you understand me? And he kept trying to bait me. And I just was like, yes, I understand. No, actually I was a smart ass. I was like, no, I don't understand you at all. I have no idea what you're telling me. Yes, I get it. Thank you. I have your message. I'm leaving. And I turned my back to him and walked straight away and I did not turn around because I could tell from his energy, energy, I, I could have been tackled in like 5.3 seconds because they wanted that. They need that. That's how they get paid. What's it going to be like when they go back to the police chief and say, God, we didn't ticket anybody. You know, everybody was doing really good. You know, well, that's not good enough. You know, I've already been, I, in the last 30 month, 30 days, or excuse me, three months, I've been ticketed twice <laughs> for doing absolutely nothing. They're like prowling around. So that's, that was kind of the end all. I was like, that's it. That is it. All these people are in lockstep already. That's why they don't care about the truth. You know, all of us independent thinkers, you know, maybe some of us are stay at home mothers. Maybe some of us are independently wealthy, but there is a small class of people that are able to think for themselves and, and make choices for themselves because they're not collecting a corporate paycheck. They don't have to be quiet. They don't have to follow a narrative. And now they're trying to force everybody into it. So I just found that to be like super interesting because I feel like when we understand our situation, we can start pointing it out and be like, no check collector. You don't have authority over me. You're collecting a paycheck. That's all this is. And so I want everybody to be clear. There's, there's no human being that has authority over us because they have a, they're getting paid. That's insane. That's, that's completely spiritually illegal. It's illegal. All government is illegal. Bob Marley said it. We all know it. There's supposed to be leadership. We're a community. Yes, we get it. But this whole governing, you respect my authority. Get over here. You know, it's like, fuck off. Like, honestly, like, where's the old west, wild west? Because we all need to be walking around with guns. And these stupid tin stars need to shove it up their fucking ass. Because they're not in charge of us. They completely ignored this lady that was harassing everybody, screaming. She was drunk, too, people were saying. I didn't, I, I never was there very long to tell but they had been there watching this lady and they're like we think she's drunk and what I saw was her just screaming walking she actually like walked into a pole I mean just like a total clown weirdo homeless person right in front of our rally screaming in the street like literally going into the street jumping into the street and telling people to get out of their cars and the cops didn't do anything and they were right in front of her they didn't do anything and I asked them no it's just it's just wow that was just the perfect proof of the absolute corruption and I called the police chief and I left him a message and I'm actually even gonna leave a little Yelp on the Maui Police Department's page and just say this is one of the most corrupt agencies I have ever experienced and tell my story about how they pick and choose and so it's like they don't enforce laws on people they extort people that homeless person can break the law all day, but they can't really ticket her. They're not going to get any kudos at work, you know, for, you know, t handling, you know, taking care of the homeless situation. There's no money in that. Oh, but why don't we ticket all these people that actually have money for nothing? Stay wise, guys. This is changing me for the better. I hope it does for you, too. See you soon.